Seeler, a Hero Arts hostess with a Hero Arts Idea video. I was thinking about this month's masculine theme and I was trying to think a little bit outside of the box and something a little bit different. So what I did is that I went through a home improvement store and one of the first things I picked up was washers. I thought that they would be really fun to add to a masculine card and I really thought it would be really fun to stamp on the washers. So I'm going to use my envelope background and stamp on the washer. What I've done is I've applied adhesive, I don't know if you can see it, but I've applied adhesive to my clear block and then I'm just going to put my washer on top of that and kind of push it down. Then I'm going to ink up my envelope background with stays on ink because stays on will stamp onto any surface. It's a solvent ink. And then I'm just going to stamp onto my washer like this. Push down and pull it up. And it worked beautifully. I don't know if you can see it, but it just adds a little bit to the washer. And I'm going to add this washer to this card here. What I've done is I've stamped the motorcycle from the going set, this motorcycle from the going set, in different colors in a pattern. And when I did this stamping, instead of using a ruler and writing with pencil, because I always find when I go to clean it, to erase the pencil, I end up smudging my stamping, I stamped this motorcycle and I used just some scratch paper. I stamped the motorcycle, the first one, I placed the scratch paper just underneath where it was and made sure it was flush with the size. Then I stamped the other two motorcycles. Then I did it again where I wanted this one. And then I would I just put the paper again as a guide for me. It was it just made it a lot easier. I think I'm gonna attach the washer with some floss. And I think I'm gonna stamp it with the Happy Father's Day set. Happy Father's Day stamp from the Celebrate Every Day set. And here's how I finished the card. I added the washer to the card using some floss that I just kind of made a zig crossing pattern with it. Um, this card is more of a simple design with the repeat stamping with the different colors and I think that the washer really adds to it. It's kind of a manly accessory and I think, I think it's really fun and it just makes the card just pop. I really, I think there's so many good ideas out there that you can add the washer to your card. Maybe some like thick ribbon that you knot, you know, and then other ways of tying the floss. And I really hope you try it. I can't wait to see what you do. Um, when I was walking through the home store, I was just walking through the aisles and just combing them, looking for ideas. And one of the things that popped out to me was sandpaper. Sandpaper is basically paper that you sand things with, but it's pretty flat. It's got a lot of color to it and texture. Like, I really like this black sandpaper. It's actually, I think, a material sandpaper. But to me, this really just looks like asphalt. And what's more manly that's going to go with a car, like a, the going stamp set, than asphalt? So I have another car, card idea using the cerulean cut the cerulean laying, layering paper as my base and this and I thought as a layer I could use this black sandpaper. I don't know, I just think it pops. I just think it really just makes the card, it just gives it so much more texture. I don't think it would be hard to add this sandpaper to my card to have it glued down but I kind of worry about gluing this to my sandpaper. So what I thought to do is cut a hole in the sandpaper. And I've already punched a hole to make it easier for myself. And I'm just going to use my kitchen shears and cut a rectangle. It doesn't have to be a big rectangle, but just big enough. And it won't be seen. It'll just be... easy. So what I'm going to do is add some adhesive to this and it goes on like a dream. And if I really did worry about adding this to my card base with just adhesive, I was thinking of using 
some glossy accents too you could do to really make it stand, stay on. So I'm going to glue it on. Just glue it on. And my idea to help put this on is to use some pop-up squares on it in the hole I made just right onto the layering paper so that way I don't have to worry that when I give this card to somebody it's going to fall apart or anything. So I'm just going to add the cardstock panel onto this. And there we go. As you can see the black sandpaper just gives it such an asphalt look and I just think it's such a great layer and you can't see that I cut a hole at all. can't really see it. And you don't have to worry that the white part's going to fall right off. I have one more card to show you today and it's this one. It's more of a earthy masculine card. I've used the leaf print stamp set and I've just stamped some of the leaves in a pattern using two different distress inks and then I stamped the happy birthday from the essential messages set. One of my favorite sets over top. I thought it would be really different to accent it with some sandpaper and what I've done is that I pleated the sandpaper just by folding it and I figured out an easy way of pleating and it's just, you start it at the end by folding it over and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a spot I'm going to fold it towards itself and make it flush so that it's straight and just fold it, open it, fold it and then do the exact same thing see it just folds over very easily and I'll do it one more time like that and then over top. I haven't really made it to be a, like a the same pattern. I just kind of played with it. And what you do then is you take a piece of tape and you flatten it this way just by taping the back. It kind of rolls a bit. It'll be flat once it's set on my card. And as you can see, it's not long enough yet. So I'm going to take another strip and I'm going to fold it to be like this so it matches the other strips. So when it goes, so when I add it, it just it looks the same. I'm just going to fold it over, pick it up and then fold another piece over. Those ones are kind of close, but that's okay. I like it to be random. Just fold it over. And you kind of fold it down further than you think, and then just fold it over. By doing it this way, it's really easy to make it straight in that it doesn't start to curve and show the back side of the paper. Because of sandpaper, I don't really feel like having the back side of the paper show. So once I finished pleating the, the sandpaper, I added a few strips of adhesive and I glued down this side. Then I finished with this side, I added another piece of tape to hold it flat. I'm just going to add it to it. And there I go. I think the, car, the sandpaper pleat just really makes the car stand out. It just adds so much texture to the card. And there you have it. Today I've showed you some rather manly accessories with the washers and the sandpaper. And I really hope you give it a try and add it to your paper crafting projects because I really think it makes the ma making masculine cards a little bit more fun, a little bit more easy, and what man's not going to love receiving a card like this. I hope you have a great day and I hope you give it a try too.